this video, we're going to work on the outside of the house. We'll add windows into the window openings, and we'll apply textures to the outside of our house to make it look a bit more realistic. First, with the windows, let's zoom in on one of our windows. There's a few steps I'll take you through to make some um, pretty simple but, but decent looking windows uh, here for our SketchUp house. Uh, first, we're going to grab the line tool and hover over one corner of the window opening. Uh, we're going to click at the endpoint. Going to bring the line across and click at the opposite endpoint. You should see not only do we have our line going across that rectangle, uh, but also it's been filled in. Click eraser. We can erase that line. And even though that line is gone now, uh, we still have a filled in window opening. That's helpful because uh, with this rectangle, we're going to apply a glass texture to that in just a little bit. Uh, to make that look like our window glass. Uh, but we've got a couple of other steps before we can do that to make a, a window that looks a little nicer. Uh, so next step, at the push-pull tool, find the offset tool and click it. Hover over the uh, inside of this rectangle. And we're going to click and hold that mouse button down and start dragging out beyond the edge of that rectangle so that we're making a new rectangle that's larger. Uh, you can let that go, but we're gonna type in three quotation mark and enter on the keyboard. And now we've made a rectangle uh, offset from the first rectangle and three inches uh, away. This will be the trim that goes around the window. I also want to add in uh, a rectangle here in the middle that'll be sort of our divide between the, the top half of the window and the bottom half. Uh, to do that, I'd like to use some guidelines. And in a pre previous video, we turned off our guides. So I'm going to click on display. I'm going to turn guides back on by checking this box. Then we can close this panel. Now that we see the guides, I'll grab the tape measure tool. And first, uh, I want a guideline uh, halfway up this window. So we'll hover over the bottom edge of the window opening right here. It uh, highlights red, says on edge. I'm going to click. As I come up here, I could type in the exact measurement, but since I know I want it to be right in the middle, I'm going to hover over this vertical line until I find the midpoint and click there. So you can see that guideline uh, has shown up halfway up that window. Uh, next, I'm going to make two more lines, one above this center guideline and one below it to give us the, the thickness of this division here in the window. So I'm going to click. I'm going to start dragging my tape measure tool up a bit. I'm going to type in one, quotation, enter. To get a line one inch above that center line. I'm going to click, start dragging down along the blue axis. Uh, one, quotation mark, enter. You'll see now I have my three guidelines there. Okay, click the rectangle tool. And we'll just draw a quick rectangle from one corner intersection. I'll click. To the opposite corner intersection. And I'll click. And I think we're in pretty good shape there. All right, back to offset, we're going to grab the push pull tool. So click push pull. There we go. I'm going to highlights. I'll click. Start pulling this way. And I don't want this to go very far. So let's just type in a half, right? Point five, rotation, enter. And that just gives it a little bit of depth, a little bit of definition away from the wall. And we could do the same for this middle rectangle, where I'll just use that, that trick where I'll click on my rectangle. And then I'll bring my push-pull tool over here 
and click on this face. And that'll just sort of bring it up even. For this, we'll just sort of make them even. All right, now we can go to our paint bucket tool. And let's find our glass and mirrors. And I kind of like this one with the clouds on it for exterior windows. Uh, you can choose whichever you like. And I'll paint that upper and lower half. Okay, with that, uh, there's a pretty simple but pretty good looking window for our house model. I'm pleased with that. Uh, we can copy those same steps on all of the windows of the house. And that will finish those up. But for now, uh, I'll call it done with this one example and turn off my guides so that those aren't cluttering up the view. And we got a little bit of a better idea of uh, how this looks. Okay, lastly here, let's take a look at our uh, paint bucket tool again. And we'll check out some options here under brick cladding and siding for what we could sort of have this house made out of, right? If we wanted to uh, set up a brick wall, we could do that. And there's actually a number of types of brick you could choose from, right? Uh, also, you've got some siding options and some others that you could check out. Personally, I think I kind of like this brown siding right now, so I'll keep up with that. There and there. I think that looks pretty good. And there you have it. That is the quick way to make windows and to set up our house exterior. All right. Good work. See you in the next video.